Leaves are made up of various colored compounds, almost like a bucket of paint has lots of different colors of paint in it. You could throw some green paint in there, a little bit of orange paint, a little bit of yellow paint in a bucket, stir it around, and if you have a lot of green paint, then the whole bucket's going to look green. But if that green paint disappears, then the bucket starts looking maybe yellow. And that's what we think happens in leaves. Leaves have several colored chemicals inside of them during the summer, but in the fall, as the days get shorter and cooler, the biggest component of those leaves, the green component, the chlorophyll, breaks down. The green disappears and that reveals the yellows and the oranges that are in those trees. So suddenly this big major pigment, this big major sun absorbing compound, chlorophyll, is gone. And potentially the leaves could be easily destroyed. There's nothing protecting them from ultraviolet light from the sun's rays. So some species of plants, in response to sunny weather in the fall, produce a new pigment, a new color, this bright red compound called anthocyanin that itself can act as a sunscreen and protect the leaf against the sun while the leaf continues to conduct its business late in the fall. And its business late in the fall is to remove as many nutrients in the leaves as possible to recover those nutrients, put it into the tree before the leaf drops.